Hey guys, this is Tom from Tom's Tools here today, and guess what? I'm doing an awesome little quick review on an awesome new program that came out. It's called AnyTrance by iMobi. This software, I mean, this company gave me the pleasure of uh, trying out their program just for an awesome review. And here we go, guys. So I'm going to launch it, and I'm going to go over what it's for. Basically, it is for iPhones, iPads, iPods, any kind of iDevice. And basically, what I have going right now, here's my iPhone right now. It's plugged in, and it's showing, um, let me just go over the features. So basically, you have full control of the file system. You can download things to your device. You can upload things like to, onto your device. You can, um, you can put stuff directly on your computer. So here we go. Uh, we... Right now, it's just making sure that all the files are up to date. So here we go. You can content to iTunes. You can select whatever you want. You can put it onto iTunes. You can start a transfer. Content to PC, which is really awesome. I can take like music, whatever I want kind of stuff, and I can put it wherever I want on my PC. I can select it, and like I can even put it on my external, whatever I want. Um, so then I have this content to device, which means... Take content from another device and put it onto this device. And I have to have another device plugged in, obviously, for this to work. So how we here we have another one called Add Content, which will basically be custom kind of uploading directly onto your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. And you can hear all the supported file formats. There's MP3s, there's video, like audio files, video files, image files, books, apps, whatever you want to upload. There's tons of stuff. So then, you, moving on, we have the clone device thing, which is really amazing, honestly. You can clone your device. So say if you're getting a new device, and you really don't want to go through the hassle of, you know, like, buying, I mean, like, doing the whole sync thing, like, all that syncing stuff, hit clone device, connect your one device, then connect your new device, and the device, the old device will... Um, copy all of its files onto the new device which is extremely useful and it'll be really super quick and it works amazingly so now we're moving on to the merge device so basically what merge device does is you can merge two devices into one so what it, what this means is that like if you have two devices you have different sorts of things on these devices you can also connect more than two devices. I've just said, I've just been saying two devices just for reference, but you can connect, like, I'm not really sure what it's up to, but you can connect more and you can just merge it all into one device as long as you have the required, the space requirement on that one device. So now moving on, um, let's, there's our iTunes library. It actually shows our iTunes library. Um, you can sign into iTunes uh, if you go to settings, I believe. No, I don't think it's that. It's iCloud right there. You can sign into iCloud using your credentials. And then right here, as you can see, this program launches way, way, way faster than iTunes. iTunes is super slow. I don't even know why. And you guys can see I have the new latest updated iTunes. And it still launches like really, really super slow. So right now, just to go over some of these categories down below, we have the Safari thing. Uh, it's for history. Uh, okay, actually, let's start from the beginning. We have audio. We can transfer some music if we want. Here's all my music. Uh, we can select stuff. We can download stuff, whatever we want. We can even delete stuff. It's just crazy. There's so many features on here. And I wonder what this does. This looks like, oh, export music. Oh, no, no, don't export. Okay, yes. Uh, I did not know what did that. Uh, so now moving on, I, I believe it actually got export ported into my documents oh yeah there's no wait never mind yeah because I canceled it but anyways so uh, let's keep going so why is iTunes open <laughs> okay so now we're moving on to okay transferring is done I get it I believe it's in documents no somewhere I don't know exactly where I put it but I put it somewhere all right so we have audio we can transfer ringtones we can upload ringtones audiobooks playlists voice memos we can download voice memos, like as you can see I have a bunch of voice memos. Um, you can download a computer, download a iTunes, stuff like that. Then videos, we can do pretty much the same with videos, same with photos, we can view the photos. 
and Safari have bookmarks, which is an awesome feature. You can take your bookmarks from your Safari and you can finally import them onto your Chrome, Firefox, whatever you want. You have the history, so if you think it's a hassle just to usually like, I don't know, if you forget about what website you're going on, then you can just hit their history and you can just transfer the history. So now we're going to file file system. You can go to system. You got the whole file system at your fingertips. So this is awesome for jailbreak users that use like iFile stuff like that. You can um, do many different things with that. So books, we can transfer books. We got apps, we can transfer apps. We can browse the content of each app. Um, if like say I want to go on Google Docs, then we hit browse. There should be stuff showing up on there. I, 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 unless I don't have anything stored on Google Docs, I'm not sure if I do. Maybe on GarageBand. Yeah, I have stuff stored on GarageBand, as you can see. So there's like, uh, like you can see the stuff that's in there. You can multiple select. You can right click. All that good stuff. So now moving on from apps, we have, um, yes, we have apps, podcast, iTunes, U. Uh, so now let's just close out of file system. We have notes, uh, so we can like do the notes. Uh, we can uh, transfer our notes. We got voicemail. If we are using a plan, we have messages. Uh, don't want you guys to see those. Anyway, someone's probably gonna pause the video. Oh my god, I can see his messages. But anyways, we have contacts. I'm not gonna show you guys that because I don't want you guys to creep anyone on my contacts list. No offense to anybody. Uh, we have the calendar. Which is basically, which are basically events from your calendar. If you have any events, right now I don't really have any events. Uh, we have backups, so previous backups that you have completed. And then finally, we have the iCloud sign in, which is a really handy feature. So let's just go over uh, the little i shows you all your iPhone specs. You can copy the clipboard, open it in Notepad, whatever you want to do. You can even eject your iPhone. You can click that. You can click the little refresh thing. Uh, transcoding, I don't know what that is, export settings, you can even export Safari, bookmarks, Safari history, messages, calendars, notes, contacts, call history, you can export all of that stuff, you can even back up your photos, it is crazy, you can even do ringtones, you can even, like keep backups on this app, you can do appli uh, application exporting, all that stuff, so yeah guys, I, w I would completely recommend this stuff, it is absolutely amazing, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and just in case you guys do not know, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash tomtutorials, two M's, no spaces. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Yeah.